In the Flint, Michigan water crisis tonight, clinics were crowded with parents hoping to have children tested for lead poisoning. 100 children have already shown high lead levels, but the governor has told us that there are likely many more. For a year and a half, the city failed to treat the water with standard anti-corrosion chemicals, so the pipes corroded, releasing the lead. Adriana Diaz is there. Ariana Hawk came to the health department today for her children's lead test results, mm -hmm. only to find out she'll have to wait at least two more weeks. So still no results. Come on. Her son, Sincere, was only a year old when Flint tapped into its river for water. Now he's almost three and has rashes that his dermatologist believes are not due to lead, but to the water's poor quality. As soon as he get in the tub, you can like see it. He's digging so bad that the skin is just like coming off of him. I don't want no kids to have to go through that. This week, his face is on Time Magazine. This exposure is good for everybody because we need this help. You know, we've been going like this for a year and a half before no one even knew about the water. The Genesee County Health Department is overwhelmed. How did it go, buddy? Good. Good. Nursing Director Tony LaRocco. I need more staffing to cover, uh, to get the process sped up. Are people working extra hours these days? Oh, yeah. What happens once someone tests positive for lead? We have nurse case managers. They um, go out and do home visits. They talk about nutritional aspects that can really help um, remediate some of that lead exposure. What if the results come back negative? I'm still going to be worried as a parent because for a year and a half, who was drinking this water with this lead and all these chemicals in it. And I'm worried that in the long term, he's still got to worry five to six years from now that any day now, maybe baby will wake up and he's going to be different. She has good reason to worry because lead only stays in the blood for two to three weeks. After that, Scott, it can travel to your bones and nervous system and stay there for decades. Adriana Diaz on the Flint story from the start. Adriana, thanks.